Hey guys, welcome back to the Joe Jaguar Show, your best friend in astronomy, science, and telescope. Well, I hope at least one of them. Okay, you see me review this guy last week. This is the William Optics 110 millimeter Magres ED. Now, you guys also see me show you guys a few times, at least three to four times minimum. A couple of those times were only on the members channel uh, videos, but regardless, four or five times maybe. This is the Takahashi 102 FS doublet. This is a doublet. So I thought it would be fun if we actually compare these two side by side outside on some stuff. Now, I know some of you might say, whoa, 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 Joe, hold on. That's not a fair fight because... This is 110 millimeter. This is a little bit bigger than that one. So this has the advantage, right? 110 millimeter, it's also an ED doublet, right? Some of you might also say, whoa, whoa, hold on, Joe. Well, this is a 102, eight millimeters less than that one, which could be a deciding factor because that will have more resolution, but this, is an also a doublet, but it's an F8 fluorite. So some of you might say, the third batch of people might say, well, you can't compare, even though they're both a doublet and it's a little bit bigger than that one, you cannot compare an ED with 51 glass to a fluoride glass, which is equivalent to a 53 glass. It doesn't, you know, it's not exactly, but do we always have to do something that's exactly the same? Does it have to be exactly the same size? Does it have to be the same glass? Does it have to be the same quality? Now mind you, William Optics is not bottom of the line quality ED. It's, I would call it a mid range. Takahashi is probably on the top of it, but it's a doublet, it's not a triplet. This is a doublet. Yes, this is, okay. Uh, this glass is a bit more superior, but you know what? Sometimes it's okay to try things that are not exactly the same, just to see how it performs, how it handles. It might surprise us that it might actually do pretty decent, or maybe it won't. But this is the whole point of trying things out, just to see what happens. So yes, this one's eight millimeter more, this one eight millimeter less, but it has a better glass in it, and it's a bit longer. But you know what? It's fun. It's, I have them, why not? Angela's picked this guy up and uh, I have this guy. So they're pretty similar, but let's see how it goes, okay? We're gonna try it on a few things outside and we're gonna see what's gonna happen. I would appreciate it if you at least give it a shot and watch it. I like to try different things out. I mean, I've even tried a, you know, a Takahashi triplet against a Nacromat. I've tried a, uh, ED scope, caisson against an acromat. I tried different things. It doesn't always have to be apples to apples, oranges to oranges. Sometimes you can mix stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. Anyway, guys, that's it. So we're gonna, next video, we are gonna be testing these two side by side, outside, and I'm just gonna give you the rundown. On paper, I kinda know, but sometimes paper isn't good enough for the stats. You might think this might happen, sometimes it does, and then sometimes it surprises you and it doesn't. Anyway, what better way to know for sure than to try it out? So let's go ahead and do it. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. For any of you guys on the channel that's been with me a long time, I appreciate it. If you know anybody getting into the hobby, share my link with them. If you guys are on the forums and maybe somebody's asked about a video that I've done, why not share the link with them? And um, I do have now members video only. It's been actually several months now, I believe. I only have three uh, members so far, but that's, that's okay. If you guys don't wanna join, you don't have to, but it's only 99 cents and you see a video that the normal public will not see. And I put your name in the description as a thanks for me to you. And again, why not you, why not me? Joe Jaguar out.